we can't be the same way. Not not at all. Not as a woman. Um, now I understand you have some women that are thick and tall, but you can't like imagine one. You two thirty, she two thirty. We got that dog. Oh, that's what four hundred and sixty pounds right there in the bed. I don't, nah, we can't do that. I don't think this is gonna work. <clears throat> Malcolm X said, uh, half your age plus seven. Like, that's the ideal age for the woman that you're going to be with. Right. Half my weight plus seven. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if I'm 230, that's 115 plus seven. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's 122. Yeah. <laughs> hey. And you say, I can't do that. Hey. What do you want me to do? Not eat? My, my woman in the 130s, and that's cool. I could pick her up. You know what I'm saying? I can actually pick her up. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, it's just what it is. And I think that's healthier. I mean, we got to look at also, man, the health. I mean, I'm talking to me too. I'm talking about cholesterol. I'm talking about blood pressure. I mean, the godfather, Kevin Samuels, died of a heart attack, man. You know what Cardiac I'm saying? Cardiac arrest is a motherfucker, Of course, man. he had uh, other things that he, you know, he beat cancer. So, I mean, he, he, you know, he probably had some health issues along the way. But us as black people as a whole, black men and black women, we got to be healthier. We got to eat better and just be better overall. For you to say that, you're promoting a Eurocentric idea of beauty. To say what? What you just said about us being healthy and eating better and being in shape, you're promoting a Eurocentric idea of beauty. You're actually promoting white supremacy to say that we're supposed to be healthy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Explain. I think you might be going I'm, somewhere I'm, with I'm this. telling you exactly like that's their idea. Oh wow. <laughs> Man, they say they say that being fat is completely natural. You can be obese and still be healthy and it's it's a completely acceptable and if you say anything other than that, you're a right-wing white supremacist who's promoting Eurocentric ideas. I guess we're acting like coons. Bro, I'm so sick and tired. You talk about the comment section. <laughs> Niggas keep talking about I'm a motherfucking coon. And I'm like... <laughs> they call you a coon. Well, they're probably calling me a coon now, too. I was called something in one of those uh, on one of those shorts. Uh, somebody was like, when I was like, I'm not letting the white man off the hook, then they called me a white man, too. I that thank, was funny. I thank you so much for engaging. Like, this is a community. We're going to have great conversations. We're going to laugh. Right. You're going to get mad at me. I'm going to read your comments. I'm going to get mad at you, and I'm going to ignore you. I might block you and just remove that shit because I'm trying to protect my peace. But it's just it's a, a continuous get involved. conversation. We want yeah, we want y'all to get involved. But... I don't understand. Listen, the, I think the coon word is used out of context. I think people just try to what they're they're really trying to call us either Uncle Tom or someone that's just like, uh, I guess, adhering to for or every being person, on the side of somebody white. For every person who says Uncle Tom, they never read Uncle Tom's Cabin. Right. That's and for true. every person who calls me a coon, you never watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Because Rocket uh -huh. the Raccoon is a bad motherfucker, okay? <laughs> that nigga be kicking ass and talking shit. I dare you to go run up on a raccoon and fight that raccoon. That raccoon will wear your ass out. We not up here disrespecting our people and trashing our people. So that would be like, I guess, coon behavior. We don't do that. We talk about, we want our people to wake up. We want black people to wake up as Americans. That's what we want you to do. Obesity is a crisis in America. They got after uh, Michelle Obama because she said that she wanted Amer Americans to be healthy, specifically black people to be healthy. And they went after her ass talking about how dare you attack my, my weight, my weight. We live <clears throat> in the fattest city in America, which is Houston. Yes, I mean, we, we have the most food and it's been that way for a while. And I have to say, when you look at the when you look at the spectrum and you look at the different cultures of people that's going out to eat black folk, black women, y'all big. Black women big. Overall, black women are bigger than everybody else, dog. <laughs> so hey, like, it's true. Big black women oh. are so wonderful. Like you have beautiful spirits. We can have conversations all day. We can play spades. We can hang out. I just don't want to date you. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to date you seriously. And it's like when 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 Kevin when Kevin said that, <laughs> women got really offended. But he's really helping you when he says this. Look. Of course a man will sleep with you 